Played pretty well, actually. Sometimes, if these Columbia records have gotten damp and there's cracks in them, they could swell, even if you ha someone hasn't tried to wash them. Tell that to the Marines, and they could be ruined. But these are playing very well. Because I know I've had some Columbias that actually did bring even a machine of this power to nearly a stop and stopped smaller machines dead in their tracks just by the drag on the needle from a badly, badly worn record. This one, though, doesn't look that bad. Let's see how it plays. Warfare, we are new. If 
If you think now the Yankee drive is through, tell that to the Marines, those deviling hounds who know what fighting means. We are going to have six million men in line. My sir, Bill, if you don't think they will cross the Rhine, tell that to the Marines, the first to fight on all the fighting scene. And if you think the Yanks won't swirl in, right straight into Berlin, tell that to the Marines. I forgot to check who performed that one. I think I know. Another original Great War era Al Jolson. <laughs> Tell that to the Marines. Al was always pretty good about supporting the troops in time of war. They did it in two world wars, World War I, World War II, and I believe again in Korea. Three wars, I guess. Okay, well, that's it for this evening. A little uh, record playing it's while I test this machine, and uh, a word on cleaning records. Okay. And if you didn't see the previous video, this is the 1916 Victrola the Ninth. Number 283424G, 1916. In red mahogany with the original finish. In fact, everything on this machine is original. The springs are original Victors too, and they still have plenty of power, surprisingly. Although, I have no real way of knowing if they were changed after 1916. But whoever changed them used the original Victor parts, as any of the Victor dealers would have done. And it still has its exhibition reproducer. It was not upgraded to the number two at a later date. And there's a good look at the machine. And that's it for this evening.